we're going to try out the Diablo Diamond Masonry 7 inch blade. I'm using a Ryobi 508 brushless um, handsaw. These are actually um, called left hand saws because they rotate um, clockwise. They, they, they come around this way. So we'll, we'll make sure and put the blade on correctly. I made that mistake in a previous video. The way you do this for the Ryobi is with the included tool. You push down the blade stop right here and find the spot where the blade wrist. But first, you take the battery out. There we go. All right, so you put down the blade stop, find the spot where this likes, and to undo it, we're actually gonna spin it clockwise. There it goes, it stops right there. Whoops, no, nope. my mistake. Counterclockwise to loosen no, that is clockwise. Yes, that's clockwise to... <laughs> to loosen the nut. We've got the uh, the bushing on there that's conical so that you can do accommodate different size blades. Take out this blade, put in the Diab Diablo. I've already opened the package and it says the rotation is that direction, so we're going to turn it around. That's a good fit with the arbor the size that it is. Again, we put this in counterclockwise. So, tighten that. Once again, hold the blade stop. Put the battery in, and we're ready to go. Two cuts on this stone, one across the uh, to, to square it up, and I'm actually gonna need a bevel cut on the back for it to fit in the uh, rock place that I have. We're gonna try this at full depth first and see how that does. All right, this blade can be used wet or dry. Obviously, I'm gonna do it dry. All right, so we're going to do a bevel cut now across this face so that it meets well with the rock face that I'm going to be joining it to here shortly. Put the claws briefly when the blade guard got in the way, but we got a nice bevel cut there. All right, so this should finish our uh, our seat that we've been working on here. Put that right there. Yep, and then we're going to cover the whole top with uh, with a rock face.